glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Explosive offenses on virtually every campus in the Pac-12. Time to establish a little pecking order with this early season matchup in the Pac-12. That's going to do it for us here on the pregame show. NCAA Football 14 action coming at you right now. Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. What is going on guys, Fleur here and today we have the 4th episode of my Arizona State Dynasty in NCAA Football 14. Today we are taking on the 16th ranked Stanford Cardinal and we are in Stanford Stadium. So this will be an away game for us and in our last game if you missed it, you missed a good game. We would end up losing in triple overtime to Wisconsin. But you see right there. We win the coin toss, and we're going to go ahead and defer to the second half. So Stanford will begin the ball first, and Kevin Hogan is under center to start this game. And Hewitt goes in motion, and it's going to be a handoff to Wilkerson. He cuts it up the middle, a very nice run, and he's running through defenders like it's not, like it's nothing. 13-yard gain to start off right there, and they're moving the chains early on. And now they have a third and three, see if we can stop him. And Wilkerson tries to run, and Moriaka Iola. The safety comes up for the big play, and they're going to have to punt it away on the first possession. So six minutes left in the first quarter now, third and seven. Kelly looking to pass, and he's going to hit Coyle on the right side for a gain of nine, and that'll move the chains for us. So now we have first and ten, and Ke Kelly calls for an audible, and we have trips to the right. Here we go. He's going to pass, and he's looking, rolling to the right, and he finally gets the pass off. And it's a lucky one right there as Gwen who was able to make the catch for an 8-yard gain. Lucky that didn't get intercepted. So now it'll be 3rd and 2. And Kelly's under center. See what we got. It's going to be a play-action pass. And Kelly fires. And it's not going to be able to be caught. 4th and 2. Got a gamble. And I'm going to be running up the middle with Grice. Does he got it? Yes, he does. 3-yard gain. And that will move the chains. Very nice job going for it on fourth down. And now it'll be second and seven. Kelly back in the shotgun, looking to pass. And he's got time. And then he finally throws to the right side, but it's Carter making the interception. And he's going to be returning this one all the way down inside the 20. And, you know, he had time, but they had good coverage downfield. And instead of throwing it away, just throwing it into good coverage. And it's intercepted. So here, Hogan got to keep it, and he is tackled for a loss of three, making it second and 13. Very nice play by the middle linebacker, Stefan Martin. Now on second and 13, it's going to be handed off to Wilkerson. He tries to bounce it outside, and he's got nothing on loss of one. Another nice play by Moyak Yola in the backfield, and that'll make it third and 14. So see if they can get anything going here. It would be nice if we can stop him to a field goal. And they send the tight end in motion. Hogan's on her center. He's going to snap it, drop back to throw. He's got time, looking to pass. And he's stepping up in the pocket. And he throws to the left side. It's caught by Wilkerson short. And they're only going to end up getting five yards. And they send the field goal kicker out there. And that's going to be good. Stanford scores first. And they have the 3-0 lead here in the first quarter. See if Arizona State can go match that now. As Kelly's in the shotgun. And it's going to be play action. He's looking to pass. He's got a man wide open. It's the Gwendo making the catch. And he makes a man miss. Pass midfield. Up the sideline. And he does not have enough speed. But a huge gain of 52 yards. And that is a nice job by Kelly. Finding a wide open man. And we are in the red zone. It's second and eight here. And Kelly's going to throw it deep into the end zone. And that pass is going to be caught. But out of bounds. So not, not going to get the touchdown right there. It will not be third and eight. Kelly looks to throw. He's going to roll to the right. Feels the pressure. And Grice is going to not be able to stay up on his feet to make that catch. And we lose a yard. Going to have to kick the field goal. But at least we will tie this game up. The kick from Garo is good. So nice job right there. Tying the game up with a minute to go in this first quarter. That kick going up and good. Through the uprights. Our kicker is not very experienced. He's not very good. So I can't kick deep ones. But that one was nice. And here they start off with a little screenplay and a huge hit from Nelson, I believe that was. And they're going to lose two yards on that screenplay attempt. And now on second and 12, Hogan going to drop back the pass. And he goes to the left side. He's got a man wide open. It's Montgomery pass midfield. And finally taken down by the safety, Moyakiola, 
who's got, I think, three or four tackles already in this game. Now on second and four, it's going to be a fake handoff, and Hogan gets hit hard. He's sacked for a loss of eight. Very nice play right there, and it was one of our linebackers coming up for that sack. Now they're going to have third and 12, and Hogan in the shotgun looking to throw. He's got time and a man wide open over the middle. Makes a catch and just barely has the first down. They get the spot. And Hogan is 7-7 so far in this game. We can't seem to stop him so far. And now he's looking to throw once again. And it's complete to the big tight end. And he's going to break a tackle. He's inside the 10 and he's going to score. Very poor job of trying to tackle this guy. He's just really big. And rumbles and bumbles his way into the end zone. So 10-3 to now to score. And we're going to try and do the play action screen to Grice, but the pressure is there. And Kelly sacked for a big loss. Now make it third and 17. See what we can do. And Kelly looks to throw. He throws to the left side, and it's going to be caught by OZA. Nice job right there, getting 19 yards, moving the chains, keeping the drive alive. And now we're going to have under six minutes to go in the half. See what we got right here on this first and 10 play. We send Coil in motion to the right side, and you see. It's going to be a handoff, and Grice goes to the right side, and he tries to cut it back to the middle. A nice gain of seven right there. We don't, we haven't been able to run very well in this game so far. But now in second and three, it's going to be another handoff, and Grice goes up the middle, and he's able to get the first down and more fighting for a couple extra yards there. A gain of five to move the chains once again. Only 20 yards on seven carries thus far. Now five minutes left in the half, and Kelly's back in the shotgun, looking to throw. He's got a man over the middle. It's strong making the catch, and that'll be a gain of 12. Nice job right there on the hookup. Kelly to Strong. And now we're going to have a second and 10. Kelly back under center. And you see what we got right here. He's going to audible something right there. And you see Kelly going to snap it. And Grice is tackled in the backfield. I didn't have enough time to do what I wanted to do. And it ends up backfiring on my plan. So now on third and 13, we send Strong in motion over to the left side. And Kelly is... is uh, calling out some hot routes and here we go it's a pass third and 13 and off the back foot it's that pass just goes nowhere it was, that was terrible so we're gonna have to try and kick this long field goal with Garo see what he can do the unexperienced young kicker not much power so this is a long one I think it's about 52 yards and the kick is up and it is going to be no good just barely missed that one that really stinks. It's a real killer. And Stanford takes over, and it's going to be a quick out to Wilkerson, and he loses two yards. Nice job of reading that play right there. And now they're going to have a third and 12. It's Hogan back to pass once again. He's looking. He's got plenty of time, and he's going to throw it to the right side, and that's not going to do anything to get the first down. Nice job by the defense forcing the punt. So Taylor Kelly back on the field with Arizona State offense. And here we have trips to the right, and he's going to roll to the right on this pass play. He's looking. Kelly ha can't find anyone. He's going to scramble and slides down at about the 30-yard line and gets about 10 or 11 yards there to move the chains. Now we have a second and eight. Trips to the right once again. Calls an audible, and here we go. It's going to be a play-action pass. Kelly looking to throw. He's got a man that's strong, making a catch as he gets nailed. It's a 16-yard gain. Very nice job hanging on right there. And a good good hookup once again now on second and 10 Kelly under center we got bunch trips to the left and Kelly's gonna go that way as he finds coil wide open and that'll be a gain of seven making it third and three so we're gonna see if we can move the change right here and Kelly is in the shotgun snaps the ball looking to throw and he goes over the middle and he overthrows it did not lead coil correctly right there fourth and three we're gonna go ahead and go for it Kelly looking to throw Needs a big play right here, and that's going to be incomplete once again with a bad throw. And we give Stanford good field position. So still 10-3 to is the score. Under meant to go in the half, and Hogan going to go to the right side. It's Wilkerson making the catch, and he is stiff-arming, fighting for extra yardage. Gets 13, probably should have only had 6 or 7, but a good run after the catch by him right there. Now in first and 10, Hogan on our center. He's dropping back to throw. And, of course, he has time and a man wide open. It's Young making the catch inside the 25, a gain of 19. And Stanford now with one timeout remaining. It'll be third and one right here with 15 seconds left in the half. And Hogan is going to find a man wide open. It's Young. 
and he gets inside the five we don't allow him to score and that's again of 11 right there and see what's going to happen they go hurry up once again first and goal from inside the three see what they got Hogan's in the shotgun and he's going to pass and he's got a man wide open it's the big tight end and they get the score for the half that'll make it 17 to 3 and that'll be your score as we head into halftime Arizona State's offense just not doing too good defense has done alright but you know I wasn't very happy with the way I ended that half so no halftime show or stats because I was spamming the A button my bad on that part but here we are in the second half second and six we find Coyle right there for a pretty nice gain 14 yards moving the chains good hookup right there between Kelly and Coyle I love having Coyle as a tight end. He's big, big target and has good hands. So now on first and ten, we go with the draw play. Grice up the middle, and a pretty nice gain right there. A gain of about six. There was a big hole, and it worked. So now on second and four, we have trips to the right once again. And Kelly looking to pass. He's got time, and he finds a man open. It's strong, making the catch across midfield, and down to about the 47-yard line. Very nice job right there. And we move the chains. And now we're gonna have a third and 11 right here. So Kelly in the shotgun, looking to pass, and he's going to go to the left side, and Strong makes the catch, and he's just shy of the first down marker. It'll be fourth and inches. We didn't get the spot right there, so now we're going to go for it. Hand off to Grice, and there's a big enough hole right there, and he ends up getting a nice game of seven, moving the chains. So we convert another fourth down right there. So now we have first and ten. Two backs in the backfield. It's going to be play action. And he finds Coyle for a nice gain of about eight or nine right there. Good play call. See if we can go down and score on this drive. And now on second and two, we're going to hand off to Grice to the left side. He breaks one tackle, and he's able to pick up two or three there to move the chains. Nice job by Grice. And now we have a second and ten in the shotgun right here. And Kelly is going to go ahead and call an audible. See what we got right here. Must have saw something in the defense as he's looking to throw. Kelly's got time rolling to the left. See what he can do. And he gets the pass off, but he was hit, and it'll be incomplete. Now it's third and, third and ten. We need to convert right here. We don't want to have to settle for another field goal. And here's Kelly, and he throws. And that is absolutely nowhere near a Sun Devil receiver. And it's just batted down. Now make it fourth and ten. And the kick is up and good, making the score 17 to 6. Stanford with the lead still. And we need to just get our offense going. Here they send the tight end in motion on the first and ten play. And Hogan is looking to pass. He goes over the middle and it's caught by Montgomery. And he's down to about the 36 yard line, a gain of 21. And now it'll be first and ten once again. Hogan dropping back to pass. He goes to the left side, and the man is wide open once again. And that'll be a gain of nine. But we would make a good stop on second and third and one. So now they have to kick the field goal, and it's good. So they extend their lead back to 14 points, 20 to six. Now the score, Stanford on top. And our next drive would be a three and out. And here we go with the punt. And but dude is driving down, but he'll get blocked. And Young makes a couple guys miss up the sideline. And he's get finally going to get hit hard at about the 36. A very nice return of 28 yards there. Giving them good field position. And on the first play, Wilkerson up the middle for a huge gain. All the way down to the 11-yard line. A gain of 24. This guy has went off today, averaging 7 yards per carry. We need to slow him down a little bit. Now, in the shotgun. Hogan's going to keep it on the read option, and no one accounts for him, and he can just walk into the end zone. 11-yard touchdown run right there, and the lead is now 27-6 to for Stanford. Kelly back out on the field. It's play action. He's looking to throw. He finds Grice to the left side, and there's no one in front of him. He gets up field, and finally taken out of bounds at about the 37-yard line. And now we're going to have a second and eight with 30 seconds left in the third quarter. Kelly looking to pass right here, and that is way underthrown. Terrible decision right there. And a second interception thrown in this game. So Sanford takes over, and they would drive right down the field. But now they have a third and goal, see if the defense can force a field goal. As Hogan is looking to pass, and it's caught by Gaffney, but it's not going to be enough as he stopped at about the five or the four-yard line. And their kick will be good. So it is now 30-6, to Stanford leading. And here we have a studio update. And Oregon State 3-0 getting absolutely blown out by San Diego State. Shout out as well, 24-0. That's a surprise. 
Now on third and ten, Kelly looking to throw. See if we can do anything. He just heaves it up deep and intercepted. His third of the day. This time it's Reynolds. And that's pretty much going to end any hopes of a comeback in this one. As now we are at about a minute and a half to go. And Stanford offense on the field. Wilkerson runs up the middle and he makes a guy miss. And he's off to the left side. A huge gain. Finally taken down. Chased down by the corner. Gain of 27 though. And now under a minute to go. They send the fullback in motion. Wilkerson up the middle. And there he goes. All the way for the touchdown. There's no defenders in the area. Another 27 yard gain. This time into the end zone for Anthony Wilkerson. So that would do it for this game. We would drive down and get this meaningless touchdown at the end to make the score look not so terrible. And that would be your final, 37-12. to Stanford gets the win. You know, Stanford a better team than Arizona State, but I expected to be in it. You know, should have been a little bit closer. Kevin Hogan would be the player of the game, only throwing two incompletions. That's insane. So kind of a disappointing loss. Didn't expect to win it. But I wanted it to be closer. No big deal. We just got to bounce back in our next game. So you see Taylor Kelly. Not a very good game. Despite the 292 yards. And then Grice only 31 yards on the 14 carries. We need to do a lot better with the run game. I didn't I didn't even get DJ Foster involved at all this game. We need to do that more. Coyle leads the receivers with 8 catches. 73 yards and a touchdown. Strong added 93 yards. And Aguenu with 82 yards. So, you know, our defense just needs to do a little bit better job, and our offense needs to take care of the ball. Moyakiola with 13 tackles, that's insane. But, you know, we get the loss, that's all that matters. Need to bounce back. So that'll be it for this video. Please leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more, and I'll have a lot more videos coming soon. So, yep, that'll be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a nice day. Peace.